we had this brand called Yesterday's Tomorrow, who I've, I've not really heard much about. I don't know if you guys know the brand yourselves or if this is just me being old fuddy daddy and not understanding what's going on in the streets. But I saw his brand debuted on the hype beast. I stumbled across it on there. And it looks pretty cool, man. It reminds me of like undercover. It reminds me of like, you know, those nondescript South Korean brands that generally kind of, you know, dress some of the bands in K pop and whatever. But I quite like it, man. So it's called uh, Yesterday's Tomorrow, I'm assuming. Uh, it's sort of abbreviated. So it's Y S T R D Y S and then Tomorrow without all the O's. Uh, riffs on Grunge and Americana for Spring Summer 2020. So I guess it's a brand that people are aware of because, you know, they comment on it like it's a. It's a brand that's been around for a while. So this is here, the text, uh, yesterday, tomorrow has returned with its 2020 uh, lookbook, presenting a range of loosely tailored garments that riff on Americana and grunge inspirations embedded with contemporary twists. Some of the, it's just a word salad on the hype isn't it? Just say stuff for the sake of it. Anyway, let's not read that. Let's just go and look at the actual clothes. Forget the, the text. So, um, yeah, I quite like it. Um, some really nice, stable pieces. Um, some A good little ins. Uh, interpretation or a little bit of a twist on um, on kind of the staples you might have in your wardrobe so for instance this first slide you've got this jacket I'm not too sure what it's called that jacket but I remember I had I had a um, I had a similar coat from Supreme it was a Supreme JFA jacket what was that what's that what's that model called it's called something oh and it's got fucking thing on the back of it. It's, it's army. It's navy. It's yellow with olive on the olive on the back. It's got the sort of like, is it JFA? Supreme JFA. What was that? Is it was olive olive jacket. What's it called? Olive green jacket. It's like an army one, right? Uh, what was it called? And double taps always do a similar version of themselves for it too. It's a particular model. I forgot what the army coat is called. It's not M3 Brie or something. I lost it when I went to Iceland back in the day, a long, long time ago. Um, it's a particular jacket. I'm pretty sure you guys know what I'm talking about, but I can't seem to wrap my brain around it. But anyway, oh, so I can fucking find it. Let me think. Should I find it? How could I find it? Is it JFA? Anyway, doesn't matter. Let's get back to the to the actual collection. So um, they've got this coat that looks similar to the Supreme jacket that I had. It's um it usually comes in like an olive green color, but I like the twist they've done on it. They've kind of made it in this sort of like cream beige sort of color. Um again, it's a really good piece. It's something that you can wear easily with loads of different outfits. This outfit here, you've got an all white hoodie with Beethoven, um screen print on the front, um nice and loose with some burn is that burn marks or bad some badges on it, and nice and loose fits, some nice white pants and some great trainers too. I'm not sure what the shoes are. It might be a converse collabo but they look really cool and i'm seeing this a lot quite often i'm seeing a lot of this um in uh pants coming up i think Y project had some i think uh, d squared had some too wherever this seam is at the front it seems like it's a big trend um for the next season for menswear so if you're looking for some new pants wherever that style is called i don't know what it's called don't get technical with me but i've noticed that there's a lot of brands a lot of companies that are doing that kind of front seam you know sort of like the seam that you'd put on your trousers if you're ironing it um so that kind of is pretty cool to see as a little detail and if we continue on here yeah we have some really good pieces overall man i like everything i'm seeing here we've got this sort of like a ghana must go print on an overcoat um some nice uh slacks again and then you've got the trainers which i really like and then you've got the overcoat in a jean is it like a jean suit style or like a shirt style i love that i love the boots again so you've got this sort of like chelsea desert boot type style boots with like the zip at the front which reminds me of an undercover collection from a few seasons back no uh it reminds me of the soloist collection from a few seasons back where they had the zip at the back do you remember that there's like these boots from the soloist they had like a zip at the back they were so beautiful let me see if i can find a picture of those actually uh Let's see if I can find one. The so I think is it the the soloist. Uh, spring. I don't know what what collection were the soloist boots. I say Chelsea boots. Let's see if I can if they come up. I remember there was a pair of black boots. They came in red too, but they didn't come in my size. Unfortunately, I did try to buy them, but I'm pretty sure they came out turning to like a forty three. But I'm sure that's the sort of thing that you have to kind of have the connects to be able to buy those sort of stuff. And I'd imagine so anyway. Um, let me see if I can find it. What was it? It was like. I think it was like spring, see, spring, summer, 18 or something. 
It was the one where he had like a it, the guy was just standing on the backdrop, wearing like a suit jacket. Uh, uh, was it fall winter eighteen? I don't think it was fall. It must have been spring. It's like standing somewhere. Let me see if I can find it. Fall winter seventeen. Then nope, wasn't that one either. Let's do one more and then we move on. Yeah, this is the one. So spring summer two thousand seventeen. They had these boots that were similar. As you can see, I'm going to put it up here on the screen. So this is spring summer 2017, the soloist. I remember these boots, similar to the ones that you see from the yesterday's tomorrow. So it has this sort of zip at the front. See that? There? They've got the zip there at the front. And it's also got a zip at the back. That was a really good collection, man, to be fair. Bloody, bloody, bloody good collection from the soloist. It's hard to get hold of. There's not many accounts in Europe, I think, for the most part. And again, I'm not too sure how many of the stuff they actually show in these lookbooks actually gets made or put into production. It must be low. But yeah, great stuff as per usual. Back in the day, remember when everyone was wearing hats? That hat would be so popular, innit? Sort of like a hat with a basically a, a Batman face on it. Um, it was incredible. But yeah, anyway, let's go back to yesterday's tomorrow. It's not their time. But yeah, I like the boots. I love this sort of like um, tablecloth, kitchen cloth sort of style on the pants as well. And I'm pretty sure it's a jean jacket or maybe a shirt. And again, great styling. I like the lookbook. Simple, white backdrop. Um, some nice kind of um, full loose shapes some easy to wear materials loads of great staples here you've got a nice suit with some couple with some high water pants and then you've got another pair of su and then another suit on the right which is a bit slouchy reminds me of some wolf of wall street style and then you've got these great loafers with uh without the heel these hills heel loafers slipper things whatever they're called which i prefer to wear more i'd much i'd much be i'd be more keen to wear a pair of like gucci loafer slides than a pair of actual plastic either slides with the white socks there's nothing that annoys me more than seeing that style around in the hood man it's such a shitty trend like everyone's doing the same like literally everyone there's not one person that has like a different pair of slides on it's just ugh. but anyway what can i do um so yeah i like those brown boots great loafers and again just awesome styling and the shapes or the sizes look quite full so they probably would lend themselves quite well to the European market. They're not like, you know, the really boxy, small Japanese style or Japanese sizing that you'd see for most Asian brands. But I guess because it's South Korean, they tend to be a little bit bigger or taller on average than I'd say Japanese people, right? Probably. Is that bad to say? I'm pretty sure that's accurate. So that's why some of the clothes tend to be one size fits all or a bit oversized, especially considering the kind of, you know, trend we're in at the moment with the oversized clothing. But yeah, it's all really good, man. I like this sort of like, is it suede or is that? Yeah, I like that suede shirt deconstructed. It reminds me of like an engineered garment shirt. It's got a sort of like, you know, it's been uh, reworked, put back together, as they say, right? So yeah, loads, loads of great pieces, man. Nice sort of side bag, nice olive pants. Again, a nice cardigan, a kafkan sort of stuff. So some copies of Needleless in here. So yeah, maybe it's a copy brand, isn't it? Because I can see a lot of capital. I can see a lot of needle, Needleless, sorry. Um, I can see a lot of that sort of like influence in these clothes. But again, it's done in a really cool way. I like this uh, denim aviator jacket. That's really interesting. I'm always a fan of brands that take like staple uh, mint outwear pieces and just flip the materials i think that's something that doesn't get done too often especially because most dudes tend to i know for myself i tend to wear the same sort of the same three to five staple outwear pieces and then i tend to get a bit crazy when it comes to the actual whatever i wear clothing wise like a shirt or a pair of trousers and trainers but mostly when it comes to coats and jackets and stuff there's there's only a few stuff I kind of go for, you know, the quintessential bomber jacket, a pea coat, a uh, biker jacket, or leather jacket, biker jacket, um, trench coat, um, what you call it, like a like a waterproof jacket sort of thing, like a North Face sort of style. So there's only a few shapes you go for. So if a brand can take those shapes or take those styles and just rework them, you know, different materials, different cut different finish i think that really goes a long way so i like this denim, denim aviator again probably something that a lot of people will be a fan of and maybe it's a bit too fear of goddy but i quite like it so yeah some some nice stuff from uh, yesterday's tomorrow i'll read a text in a minute and see if it's korean i'm not sure if it is korean it might not be but i like it uh da, da, da. oh it's a chinese brand okay after the chinese red blue okay i didn't know that it's, it's chinese jesus is it is it chinese okay is that the comment here? I mess with this brand, but either the model is five foot two or the cut of these clothes is way off. I don't think a commentator, a commentator on hype is sitting on his, you know, lap somewhere 
covered in cheetah dust can make an opinion on what a cut of an item is but you know this is the internet everyone has a voice so anyway um check that out um it's spring summer from yesterday's tomorrow it's going to be available now on their website so it should be there now at the moment let's quickly check over hop over to their site and see if that's true get that off the window as well boom 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 yeah yesterday's tomorrow there we go what language is it if i try and translate Oh, it's Japanese, okay. It's not even South Korean, my bad. It's Japanese. It looks good though, man. I like it. These are all the lookbooks. Let's see the shop. Let's see what the prices are saying with this brand. But it's quite a cool brand. I like it. Yesterday's tomorrow. I like the name as well. Japanese people always have a good way of flipping names, isn't it? Especially using English uh, spelling. There's no real rhyme or reason why it's called Yesterday's Tomorrow. It's just Yesterday's Tomorrow. Founded in 2017, Yesterday's Tomorrow fuses elements of vintage clothing, streetwear, and high fashion, culminating the overall impression that is both nostalgic and new. Uh, diverse in both its inspiration and range, Yesterday's Tomorrow is one of the Tokyo's most exciting, highly anticipated new brands. Okay, that's great. Good to see. So I guess my eye isn't isn't leaving me. It is quite a cool and interesting new brand. So yeah, check it out, man. Some good stuff in Yesterday's Tomorrow. Some nice items available now at this place called Cover Cord. But yeah. It should be available now for all you guys to see. I'll leave the link in the show notes so you guys can check out if you want to see it.